What's going on, fellow Fist Tank fanatics? So, I have kept this quiet for long enough. And, um, it's time I tell you all what's going on. So, the husband and I bought 23 acres a little while ago. It was about four years, maybe? Three years? Three years ago? Um, and our whole goal was to get a house built on it. And that is what we're looking at right now. Now, we originally were going to build all of this at one time. It's a house, three-car garage with an in-law suite above it. So there's about a thousand square foot apartment up above this, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and we have realized that to be on site to get this house to turn out like we want, we need to be on site. Um, and it's about an hour round trip from where we are currently living. So we will be moving into this. Um, but... That's not what we're gonna. That's not what we're gonna talk about too much. So building a house, planning for a house with a dream fish room. My husband knows that if we are moving, it's going to have everything I want in a house. And um, so yeah, that's what that's what I'm getting. So first of all, this is where we will be moving to. For starters, uh, three car garage. Um, we will be adding concrete pad with a screened in porch on the back. Just because we will be living there for a while, the stairs will be going upstairs. Um, and it goes upstairs to a living space. Fish tanks will all be downstairs. It's going to be a wide open room. It's uh, 40 by 30, just about, so it's a big area. Tanks will be against one of the walls. I don't know which one yet. Um, and we will have the floor, dra floor drains in the garage, so that way maintenance for me on the fish tanks is a lot easier now this is upstairs where we will be living it's only normally a one bedroom um, we had to make a couple changes and adding a deck and all that but this will just be bedrooms where we're living reality wise it's a different layout than our house now but it's not any smaller than the house we are currently in so that's always a good thing now i do live in houston and um, everybody says you can't build a basement in the Houston area, and that's a lie. The reason people don't build basements in the Houston area is because of the cost. Well, I can tell you that one of the points for my husband and myself was if we're moving, we have to have a basement, and that is what this is. Um, this is the basement, and it's about 14, 1,500 square feet, so it's a pretty good-sized basement. You'll notice a little half bath here. This is my water closet. This is where I will have backup tanks, my storage tanks, um, 330s, uh, water storage, and then this right here, this is my new fish room. Um, it's been planned out, it has floor drains, I've got water built in, um, and I'm hoping to actually run my water lines directly to my tanks so when I fill up, it comes directly from my water totes, which will be right here um, and I'll have a shop utility sink here all of that but either way that's the basement and it's been a lot of fun to plan and organize and dream of the new fish room and figure out exactly how I want it to be what tanks I want to go where what fish um, are my end keepers that sort of thing so there you go there is where the fish room will be going uh, the goal is 2017 uh, summer of, summer of 17 to be in the main house or hoping no later than winter of 16 to be in the in-law suite which is the guest house which is the garage um, so yeah it's, it's getting there we're getting there slowly everything's out of pocket so far so it, it's a little bit slower than we would have liked but we're gonna get there but I'm gonna have all my fish tanks and uh, finally have all 23 acres I can go play on. But either way, okay, I guess I can show you all this. That's what the garage will look like. In the main part of the house, we have made a couple other changes on it, but these are all beefed up. But that'll be it. Total is about 9,000 of covered, um, covered area that includes all the decks and the back spaces. Um, my husband and I spend a lot of time outside as do the kids, so for us having 
this whole area, this is all screened in, um, outdoor fireplace, that sort of thing. Um, the entire back of the house is atrium doors and this opens up. Uh, so when you walk in the front, you'll have a couple p posts just on your land beams and it's, it's wide open. It's literally wide open. And then if you open up the back of the house, you'll walk in the front and it's open all the way to the back. These are all porches. So either way, I'm excited. Just thought I'd tell you all. The, uh, the new fish room is coming. Um, we, the structural engineer knows the weight limits of what I need to hold um, on the concrete in the basement. Um, we will be having piers poured underneath of our foundation of the basement to support the weight of the fish tanks as will it be extra thick concrete with extra rebar. So, you know, the priorities are there for me, which basically the whole basement of the house is is Mama Bear's region, and I mean that. Actually, I don't even know where the basement went, but is this the basement? Yeah, here's the basement. This whole area, this is all going to be mine. Forget the man cave, this is the woman cave. Fish tank, fish room, and the secret room, and I'm hoping that's my workshop. So, either way, that's what we got going on. I got Brooke, my helper, and apparently she's grabbed a bunch of crackers now. But either way, guys, there you go. That's what I've been working on. I've been trying to keep it a secret, um, but I'm getting more and more excited now that the reality of us moving into the in-law suite, um, which will be an adjustment, but it'll be a good adjustment to be on site for the building of the dream house. This is something my husband and I have been dreaming of and planning. Um, shoot, even when we first started dating, we were talking about house plans before we got engaged and got serious and all that. So that's how... I guess it's the engineer in us. But either way, this will be the new future fish room, living room, playroom, all of that for now. And then that will become the garage. And this is where everything else will be. There you go, guys. That's what I got going on. That's what I'm staring at as I'm working on house plans and trying to get an actual quote for building material costs done. But yeah, there you go. Say bye, Kenzie. Bye.